I was kind of watching right, Tom's. You, you left me a blank. I was watching sure. Tom's <laughs> face when he was reading off all the buildings that Nancy had been here for the construction. I was watching Tom's face and he was thinking, right. "Wow, <laughs> to have been here for all of that right. stuff." That was such a beautiful yeah, shot. Yeah, yeah, yes. This picture is just good. gorgeous. Uh, so fortunately, uh, for each of the schools that we have planned to be opening this summer, we're ahead of schedule and uh, within budget. So to take you through some of the details of that, starting with uh, East Forsyth High School, uh, you see the exterior substantially complete now from a few different angles. We were, just as a small detail, we were able to add the uh, additional two courts uh, to make six tennis courts now. So Nathan Turner's happy and athletics. You see that are, are they site lit? coming together. Are they, are they lit? Are they uh, yes, they, well, yes, they will be. You see the, the site lighting is uh, in place. So yes, we'll be so they'll, able to. So they'll be able to have real matches there with six night. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So there's a few different angles of the site. Football coming together, the uh, football ancillary. Uh, buildings are complete, um, field house complete, um, and we'll be placing the artificial turf uh, next month. So to take you through on just a couple interior shots, um, this was two days ago, and if you go out there today, that's all orange. So credit to Jennifer. Uh, Bronco Orange, you know you're not in any of the other high schools now when, uh, when you're at uh, East Forsyth High. Uh, the practice gymnasium, uh, the science classrooms are a little different. You see the acid waste. Um, just ceilings, a, a lot goes into these now. So the science, that's what that is? Yes. That yeah, which makes it a little different than the hundreds of classrooms that I show you. Um, a quarter, the porcelain uh, tiles. Um, kitchens coming together, uh, rounding. Uh, cafeteria. Um, so you can see, um, you know, we're in the home stretch at East, and uh, we'll be showing you uh, some interior photos in, in the next couple months. Uh, focal uh, coming together, obviously the front view here. Uh, back view, you see brick uh, continuing around the project, a couple different angles. Obviously what makes this a little unique, uh, the stage, uh, the rigging and the structural steel that goes there, the weights we're dealing with, um, the lighting, the audio-visual, uh, really impressive. Uh, the photos really don't do it justice, um, this being the black box theater. Um, this is interesting where I, I told you last month, right, we've got 60 foot of scaffolding that makes work a little difficult um, as opposed to uh, a normal. So uh, that's coming together. Uh, Ace, you really see the exterior coming together here. Nice, clean, crisp uh, exterior wall panels. Different angles of that. Hendrix Middle School, um, exterior, uh, roof, brick, windows, uh, all substantially complete. For all the projects I just showed you, we do have uh, permanent power now, so the interior finishes are proceeding. Uh, see much of the site done, the paving, the play field, uh, a couple different views and to reorient you. Um, administration up front, uh, media center, uh, cafeterias, uh, gymnasium, and then the two level classrooms and uh, the only thing that's left now on the site there is, is the bus drive, uh, which then takes us to some of the interior shots. This is uh, New Hope Elementary School. So to reorient you um, with that, uh, we were in this area for the groundbreaking. And again, uh, uh, this is 60 foot higher than this side. So we have to cut and fill 300,000 um, cubic yards of, of fill, which is a little different. Um, the retaining wall is now in on the, on the bottom. That's critical to allow that balance to uh, be executed. Um, and fortunately, we're working through uh, successfully the geotechnical reports. We knew we were going to have some challenges with, with rock, with unsuitable material. Um, and we're successfully working through that. And uh, again, the picture really doesn't demonstrate that. But uh, where we had a 30-foot cut kind of in the middle to get the slab on great, we, we've got eight feet left. So, um, you know, as you've heard me say in, in the development process, um, our, our, our time and money risk is, is typically getting out of the ground. Um, we're successfully doing that on New Hope Elementary School. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just curious, what are they doing on the very bottom end of that? Because they spent a lot of time here. This is the, the retaining wall. Right below the retaining wall. Is that is, 
Well, there, there's the, the stream and the wetlands. Now in the back is uh, storm and sewer, yes. Okay. So, we're, so we're getting those done. Um, so it, that's the last photo we've got, you know, and just looking back on the year, um, it, it's pretty meaningful. Um, we've ranged between 10 and 15 million a month work in place. Um, and that was really achieved by a thousand frontline workers. The, the combination I get to the thousand, not only on site, um, but in the supply chain and, and factory. And, um, you know, we're, we're just so grateful. They really haven't missed a beat uh, working through all the challenges of, of COVID to position extremely, to position us extremely well. Um, to have these ready. Um, we'll probably be ready April, May. So we're already um, coordinating, managing, directing uh, FF&E coordination. We're well ahead of the game um, with that, with the furniture and equipment that's um, planned for these facilities that you saw. Um, so we're, we're in great shape. And, um, you know, I would just like to conclude, um, you know, all these photos, the, the person behind these photos with the planning and design, um, you know, just recognize Tim Amerson for 25 years. Um, he's kind of been the unsung hero. And yeah, I asked him, and unfortunately, he's not here, right, in the audience. But uh, I asked him today, when you started, how many students? And it was 10,000. <laughs> um, so 50,000, you know, very close that, not to uh, He probably predicted this number to compete. Right. Exactly. Yeah, probably did. Four. <laughs> and then four. Yeah. So, so through that exponential growth, you know, Tim's service always, uh, you know, cost effectiveness and, and just doing the right thing for uh, the district and the increase of 42,000 students. Uh, he'll be, he'll be missed. Tim service, Tim service was great. Tom, thank uh, you. Thank you for, for saying that and recognizing yeah. Tim. I mean, that, that's such a good point about you guys. So many people in the school system that, behind the scenes that just do heroic work. And, and Tim, Tim is one of those guys that fits in that category. And, you know, he's here early in the morning, late at night, you know, and always on top of his game and just has been uh, just an asset for our school system. So thank you for doing so, that. Yeah, he's really retiring in a week and like yep. he's he's working right now. Yeah, I'm sure he is. I'm sure he is. Yeah. So that's Tim. So um, I guess with that, um, happy holidays to y'all and uh, any questions on the program. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Thank you.